Okay, so <laughs> that takes significantly less time when you're not trying to carve through this much thickness, right? Um, which is nice when you have the right thickness to do your, your carving with all of a sudden, you know, chasing out these little areas you have to break out is almost trivial. So what we're going to do is just make sure that uh, we're at a good stable point to, to do our break. Um, and sometimes, actually, when it's this thin, I prefer to take the cutter edge and just make sure that we're started correctly. It's right on that line. And then I'll just peel it off. It's kind of like um, taking a sticker off the sheet at that point hard part is getting that peel and then there's this little little bit left over and that's what our needle file is for so we'll just file that down and go all the way around the edge of our of our um, design so uh, once that's done we'll be in a good spot and uh, you know, if you got a little bit left you can just carve it a little bit. Get the camera to focus at this field. Bring the light back over. There we go. So we can carve that down. Just that little bump. Um, usually when you're doing a tangency, right, when that, that circle comes to a termination at the end of a, a square edge, um, it's going to give you the most grief. And so depending on your preference, you may want the file, you may want the spoonie tool. Um, but I usually find the file is good for that, that last rounding bit. And then um, if you're trying to find where that last corner is, that's a good sign. Just keep looking. Um, you'll go around and you'll find the parts that make it circular or not circular over time. But uh, there we go. So this is our, our roughed out moon. It's got good texture. It's hollowed out in the back. Um, there's some finishing things to do, but I don't think anyone needs to watch this get filed uh, incessantly, so I'll switch back to time lapse for that. All right, so the joke's on me because I thought I was recording a time lapse when I was shaving down all the edges to this thing, and it was actually a video. So <laughs> rather than try and splice that into a time lapse, I figured I would just explain what happened, which was I took a, a file and I just shaved down the edges till it was uniformly round, and then I spent a fair amount of time just using my fingernail raking across the edge uh, to do a nice soft radius to the edge profile of this wax. Okay, and once I got the edge profile to something I was satisfied with, I came back and did a light touch-up with my needle file. You know, just doing one of these numbers. So, <laughs> rather than subject you to a bunch of weird time lapse bits, uh, we'll just call this good. And at this point, you have the option if you decide, uh, oh, I'd like these edges to be smooth. I want to flame polish the edges. Uh, you can. I'm not going to just because I know, based on the wear of the wax, these edges are going to get the most abuse anyway. So they will come into their own patina and polish. But um, you could do that. 